folks, this is Engineer 775 on a beautiful solar day. What do we have here? We've got uh, something. <laughs> We're calling it the Skyrack Canopy. Uh, we've had a lot of conversations with customers about carports and pergolas and all sorts of different uh, buildings to store things. And so we went ahead and designed one, put one together using uh, standard Skyrack, Sinclair Skyrack parts. So this is just two ground mounts put together in a way that produces a nice canopy that we're doing all sorts of things with. So there's 48 panels on here. We have 42 going to a Solark 15K and we have six going to an AC-DC uh, air conditioner, which is running 100% on solar right now. Uh, so the back row of posts are 16 footers. The front row are 14 footers. We also, for us, this is gonna be a multi-purpose structure. We're using it for testing as we run things like the Luna Vault shipping container with six 15Ks in it. We're gonna hook up to that, commission, uh, test the inverters out, so we'll have solar for that. But we're also gonna be running our office off of it. And so that's why there's so many disconnects out here. We also added an EV charger as we have two EVs that we like to keep topped off and it's very handy to have that. And we also put a panel out here that we're sub feeding off of our office building. So we're gonna add more to this. We're gonna add some lights, some receptacles, cool things, looking at rain um, waterproofing using something that will not block the bifacial panels. These are the KB Solar 450s. And uh, again, so what we did was we just put two ground mounts together, raised it up, and uh, these splices will improve. Talked to Sinclair about that already. They've got some nice splices. I just took some existing trusses. So everything here is Sinclair. Everything right down to the bolts and the direct tie trusses and purlins, everything is, there's nothing we've added um, to the bill of material of this uh, canopy than what Sinclair already stocks, manufactures, and ships to us. So we just took from our Sinclair stock over there. And again, I just been staring at <laughs> the Sinclair steel. It sits here and we thought, why not put two of those together? And that's what we did one day. And we've had a lot of requests for this kind of structure. It's great as a shade structure, great for uh, storing uh, trucks, cars, equipment underneath it. Um, we've had some customer uh, battery racks and things we stuck under here. So I'm using it just around the farm and around the business to keep things out of the sun, out of the weather. And uh, so let me know what you think. So we've got, again, 48 panels on this. We've got over 21 kW. You couldn't build a structure if you were framing a pole barn or something that would be as inexpensive as this. Plus this would power your home. If you've seen some of our other videos, we're also thinking of putting the outdoor version we're calling the Luna Vault, just outside of these spaces. We'd put it out here. And so you could have a Skyrack canopy, a Luna Vault at, of any size or version, but this there would basically be one inverter's worth of solar for one of these. The other cool thing is you could just keep going, just like you're building a ground mount. You can just keep going. We start on the east and head west. So it's possible to expand or build a couple of them. So this becomes a very handy uh, storage building and one that can power your home. So kind of liking it, really liking it. So we just, uh, I cleaned it out, I had so many things. I've had my tractor and my skid steer and uh, solar panels. And I just wanted to show you how big of a space it is. And it is quite large. Um, you've got a hundred and you got like 13, 14 feet in that bay, 17 feet in this bay. So you're a good 40 feet from the, of the post, but you got it the overhang. So I would just say, you know, you're probably 45 by 40 under, under roof. It's a pretty good size. And for the cost, you I don't think you could build anything this cheap and this awesome out of wood. So tell me what you think. This is the what we're calling the Skyrack um, canopy at this point. And 
Uh, Sinclair was kind of worried that they were going to get bombarded. So if you're interested in one of these, they are going to have you talk to us for the design. We're working together with Sinclair on it. So if you're interested in one, please contact Practical Preppers. You can contact Sinclair and they're going to turn you to us. So that's fine. So if you talk to Dunley or, or Kyle up there, they're probably going to refer you to us and then we'll talk to you about it, design it up for you, and then we will send a purchase order to Sinclair to get it f to you. And we could ship it from this location as well. So let me know what you think. This is the Sky Rack Canopy. So we keep adding products. This is a new one for us, the, the Luna Vault. We're building out that 300 kilowatt hour storage powerhouse. Uh, and we're, and then our Luna, wanna check out our latest videos with the Luna Vault. It's an outside installation, outdoor installation. So, all right, what other cool things could we do to this? We thought some cool LED lights, or some receptacles. Um, we have a lot of interest in this, so let me know what you think. Anyway, you might think of improving it, but we got a pretty good high entry people are gonna ask. So I can fit my work truck with the ladder rack and ladders on it under here. And I think I'm right at eight feet clearance. So that's pretty high. All right, let me know what you think. This is Engineer 775 signing out.